Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Capricorn. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. Um, if it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Okay, so um, beginning with the Astro Dice, we have the South Node, um, which is affecting the fourth house. Um, and we also have um, the symbol for cancer. So beginning with the south node, it represents where we come from and what we bring into this life. Okay, so that includes uh, lessons from our past lives and all of the uh, gifts and qualities that you have already mastered. It represents the person you are leaving behind you. Um, it can also show us, um, it can also show us the areas, <clears throat> excuse me, that we fall back on too often or that we can go to the extremes about or overindulge in. With, the, with its appearance here today, it would be speaking to growth that, uh, or telling you that growth takes, growth takes risk. Um, it can also be, uh, or you may also experience some discomfort here uh, for this growth. So um, it's crucial that you don't rest uh, on the skills of the south node at the expense of developing your north node. The, um, <clears throat> because the south node is where you come from. So it represents the past uh, karmic uh, baggage and the path that you've followed until now. But um, the north node is the path that you are growing into through this life. So um, it's important that you look at any areas uh, behind you that need improvement or things that aren't serving you that need to go, things you need to change, where you need to look, areas that could be blocking you from uh, growing into uh, or growing yeah growing into through this life okay so what's happening here it's it's affecting your fourth house um so that re represents your um your your home your security family the foundations um most likely you are experiencing domestic issues. Um, this house also represents endings of all kinds of situations. It represents your history, uh, your roots, your domestic life and traditions, things that you've learned, um, things that you have learned, develop, follow, um, so this house is perhaps uh, encouraging you to discover what makes you feel at home and what you need to feel safe and secure because currently you would be feeling a lot of insecurities with the south node being here in the fourth house. So you would be looking at your living situation. You may be questioning uh, what needs to go, what, what, what needs to stay, what needs to go, or you could be looking at, you could be looking at what you've lost and, uh, or your attachment to something that is behind you. Um, 
And you would have some with Cancer being here. You would have some very deep emotions concerning some type of loss, uh, domestic issues that you were having or are currently experiencing, lost friendships. Um, you could be highly sensitive about whatever this is. It could be that, um, and what I do believe this is, is that you may have uh, misinterpreted somebody's words or actions which resulted in this loss okay um, and so it's important for you to look behind you to see that um, because you did not have all of your information is what the cards are telling me um, it could be that you are very easily hurt uh, and so were very were very easily hurt and misinterpreted uh, somebody's words but the thing is that you are being called to recognize where those feelings actually came from um, because they didn't begin here they began from where you came from. That's the whole point of this. Okay, so it's important uh, to be, uh, and I think that this is going to really be your challenge, is to be more open about your feelings rather than internalize them and make uh, assumptions. So this is an area that uh, for you or that you need to work on. You have the firefly. And for me, that speaks to, it's like a light in the dark. So this could be uh, something that lights up. Um, something you may suddenly realize about a situation. It could also be um, a spark of hope. This can also speak to the, the spark between two people. Um, there can be uh, a feeling or realization of the importance of someone to you that maybe wasn't seen, uh, you know, until you lost them. Now I'm saying this is you, but I mean, it, I mean, it could be the other person. It could go in reverse. You'll know if this is you or if this is them. Um, the nine of shields tells me that there was frustration um, surrounding uh, a situation uh, having to do with a deception, having to do with a loss. You are currently looking back at what you lost. Um, and that is important because it is uh, it is what uh, the south node is about. There's uh, where you come from. So you're looking back at where you came from, but you're looking back at this situation. It's important that you you need to go back a little further. You're currently looking back at someone uh, you lost. You may be trying to understand what happened. Um, what's very important for you to know right now is that you are uh, um, uh, both in the upright and this could possibly indicate a twin flame uh, relationship. But for me, it's telling me that you are both uh, you're both still interested in each other, okay? That it, I don't feel it's over. All right. 
if, if somebody would have been in the reverse, but you're both in the upright. There's just something you guys need to figure out here. Um, and so you're trying to understand um, a situation, I feel. Um, I feel that you had a lot of fears when it was upright because the upright came first. And maybe these fears overcame you having to do with somebody's faithfulness to you or loyalty. There could have been uh, suspicions of third party. It could be jealousy that sparked these fears. The devil is here, but I don't believe that there was a third party. I feel like something was misinterpreted and misunderstood because all these cards are saying that. And it comes from up someplace deeper from where you came from. So you need to look there. Those are the key words, where you came from. That's where you need to go. That's where you will find the solution. I, I feel either way, I feel you will get back together. Okay, because you will see the truth in this situation. The key to making it last is going to be going further back to find out uh, why you do the things you do or why you feel the way you, you feel that, uh, that, that sparks that reaction in you. Okay, and I feel that that is going to be what you will need to do. Um, because of these uh, these fears, and I see that with the devil there, it is a pattern from your past. It's sitting in the past. So it's a pattern from your past, again, that causes all of this confusion and this disruption, unable to agree, um, unable to work together. Um, the, the sun in reverse is um, an, an upset, the feeling very unhappy, not getting along. It doesn't mean it's over. It just means there's a temporary disruption because of, uh, because of the devil. So because of a pattern, because of a possible illusion um, with the devil. And uh, with, you see, the Queen of Swords is over here, and she, uh, you know, she's been through the mill. She's had a lot of bad experiences. Most likely, uh, she may carry a grudge. Um, she may have subconscious fears. Um, she may have felt alone, perhaps, in the relationship. Um, her mind would have been very busy working, um, possibly overthinking a situation. But this uh, card over here says that uh, all was not as it appeared. Okay. I think that you, if, if this is you, you, you thought that they didn't love you, but they did and they still do. You thought somebody was not playing by the rules. And so immediately because of past experiences, the wall went up, boom. And that caused all of this chaos and disruption because of a, mis, um, a misunderstanding, an assumption, because of someone's perception based on the subconscious mind, the subconscious fears with the moon. This is what needs to go. Look, it's sitting next to the broom. And uh, I feel that um, you will see that. It's like a light in the dark again, a light in the dark. There's a realization uh, that something needs to change, 
that something needs to go. Okay, this could be um, a, a, a brand new way of thinking. There's a realization, okay? Um, I think with a deeper look, you will get a realization. It's like, see, that, that speaks to a breakthrough. So this is great. This is really good news. A breakthrough about what needs to go. You see, Lady of Wisdom, she really, really wants to, uh, to have the knowledge that is on the other side of that door, but she only has a little bit, okay? Um, you, I feel that the fact that this is in the reverse, uh, I do feel like it's like a, you're struggling here with, a, uh, it's like a mistaken perception in the reverse. Um, and you're struggling you're struggling with it because here it's clearly saying you don't have all the information. You want it, but you don't have it all. Okay, so it's like uh, you're, you, you're in this hangman mode and you're trying to understand your situation, but you can't because you don't have all the answers. There's a decision here that will be taken and it is about doing the right thing and it has to do with uh, a wound um, here in the card of justice. So you're seeking to balance a situation. There is some type of breakthrough here having to do with the uh, fears of the subconscious mind and uh, things that need to go. It's about with the broom um, removing uh, things that no longer serve you. Cleaning, cleaning up, so to speak. Um, in doing so, you restore the harmony, they say. Um, again, there was a misunderstanding. Something was misunderstood. Um, maybe it's something that you overheard. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of like what I'm getting. You overheard something and it was like a, a sudden red flag comes up, but it's, it's like a misperception. Uh, it wasn't correct. Having to do, whatever it was, had to do with a decision about the future of the couple, maybe. Something you may have overheard that took you by surprise, possibly. Some type of discovery that you, again, overheard or heard, um that led you to believe something. It hit, whatever it was, it hit a trigger. Again, from your past. This is all going to get worked out between you and your, your person. You are going to work this out because somebody is coming to speak a truth. Uh, I mean, it could be you reaching out to them. Um, but a decision is taken because uh, this king, he's looking over at justice and it is a decision to speak a truth. With justice. You, or to get to the truth. Maybe back here you weren't ready to listen because you believed they were lying 
but something uh, something happens that changes that something happens within you there's like a, a change of mind and maybe you are now ready to hear it maybe you suddenly feel that well okay maybe I could have been mistaken or um, maybe I wasn't being fair something leads you to come back to have this conversation and from there you you get your answers this gets back on its feet but if you want it to go for the long haul you're going to have to go deeper you have to look at where you came from because where you came from explains where you are now and how you got there I thank you for watching for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing also thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation it is greatly appreciated many blessings to all of you